Hello everyone, this is LMS Arthur 7 Productions here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a uh, video about uh, face packs for chameleon liveries for, um, like old uh, Star Island 3D models or for, uh, number one Thomas fans models. So let's go ahead and get into it here. As you can see, I've got this uh, pathetic amount of uh, faces. They don't even have the sad face for some reason. Uh, for the uh, number one Thomas fans, Reneus. Um, so, what you need to do, it's very simple, what you need to do is, is first you need to add the faces, um, first of all, this face is kind of terrifying, so, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna replace this with, uh, the mischievous face, just right on the bat, replace, so yeah, there you go, and let's go ahead and go to the configuration file, and if you want to, um, if you want to, you know, um, what's the word? If you want to change the uh, face uh, names, all you need to do is just uh, go to um, the faces. There's happy, cross, and then that face, which I'm just going to name. Why am I surprised? Um, okay. Miss Chiff. I before E. All right, so now that now that that's done, it's just a little change that I wanted to do. Let's uh, let's actually get to the the little problem here. Um, these faces are good, uh, so yeah, let's actually get to the problem. You see, three of these faces, no sad face, um, and this is just to add extra faces if you want. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So as you can see, I've got a sad face and I got this. Uh, Furious face. Uh, let's go ahead and add the furious face first. And um, something that's like amazingly important is you have to have the exact same dimensions. Like uh, here's one of the original faces right here, uh, 128 by 128, and then this one 128 by 128. And uh, something that you gotta uh, point. Something that I gotta point out here is um right here uh resize in paint.net which i will leave in the description you have to have the exact same resolution as well so the exact same resolution and pixel uh thing i don't know what to call it but you get the idea uh so i'm, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one face four you see and uh what you need to do now is um at right here, it'll show the number signs, and then face two, face, you know. Uh, all you have to do here is just put face four, and then the number sign. And uh, then, um, right here, you gotta uh, add an extra uh, line to it. Put two spaces, and then put face four. And then put a lot of spaces until you get to the quotations. Add a quotation, and then put furious. Oops. I do not know how to spell. Uh, and then quotation. So, uh, that's all done. I'm not sure. Yeah. Furious. Uh, and then for the textures, just put, um, two spaces, three, or whatever number, um, comes next. Um, this one's three. I'm putting the fourth one. Because, uh, for some reason, it starts with zero, as you can see. So, uh, face four dot JPEG quotation. So, um, all that's done for the uh, uh, for the furious face, uh, and that's really all you gotta do. Um, like for this one, for the number one Thomas fan ones, uh, you don't really need a uh, a dot texture file for some reason. But, uh, I'll get to that in just a second. And for the sad face, um, you literally just do the exact same thing. Just, uh, put it down. Face 5. And then add face 5, number sign. And then two spaces, face 5, uh bunch of faces, I meant bunch of faces, bunch of spaces, quotation, 
sad, or sad slash worried to add more depth. Uh, and then textures, you do the exact same thing. Spa uh, you do the enter key, uh, two spaces, I'm just cracking my knuckles for some reason. I like to do that. Uh, and then four for like the fifth one. And uh, then face, whoops, rotation face five dot jpeg quotation so uh yeah all that's done for the sad face and everything is done for Aeneas. um so yeah really easy for the ones without the texture uh um requirements uh so now let's get to the ones um that require the uh, dot texture txt things all right, so uh, for this next part, um, for doing the ones that actually require the um, uh, dot texture dot txt files, is uh, you have to get an app um, called. I'll just go to the folder here. You gotta get an app called uh, PevSoft Texture Txt. I'll leave that in the description. I'll just open that up and close that folder, and uh, it'll show up this. And all you need to do is um. Go to file, open file, and then uh, go to wherever you kept your um, face textures, which uh, for this example, it's, uh, of course, the folder that I'm at right here. I can't really read that. It'll take a while, and that'll just be filler, but um, here we are. Let's see right here. It's right here. So yeah, here's all the uh, face textures. I'm gonna be doing uh, the face three first, which uh, yeah, and uh, that automatically makes the dot uh, texture dot txt file. So uh, do that for all of them, and uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that right now. So um, and it should just do it automatically for each folder. So uh, it's face four, as it. Phase 5 adds it, and phase 6 adds it. So all of them must uh, should have a uh, a thing, a uh, what's it called? And I do have to mention that um, all of the faces that you add have to have the exact same uh, file um, name, like file extension, uh, like TGA. They all have to be TGA. And, um, yeah, and for the config, if, if all of them, like, the only two were right here, if all of them say face1.texture, even if you don't have a .texture file, you still gotta put .texture. Um, so, yeah. Alright, so now that we're here, um, let's go ahead and go to the selected route, which I am going to, uh, Minnesota Railway because you know that's the only narrow gauge railway I have uh, that actually like com completely works uh, like the Starlowe Railway doesn't really um, like I didn't really install all of the uh, dependencies for some reason but anyways uh, here we are at the engine shed um, so let's go ahead and uh, add the Reneus first. So here we are, Reneus. Uh, let's go ahead and turn him around. And uh, yeah, here's the face. Um, here's the original face. Um, this was originally like a horrible quality uh, version of this, and I added a newer one in it. Um, as you see, that's the newer one, so that's proof that it works uh, for one. And I'll actually get to the, um, the faces that I added, so um, it's loading here. <clears throat> so yeah, here we are, um, okay, so here's this happy face, mad face, mischievous face, that's the one I added, furious, another one I added, and sad, which is another one I added, and there's the happy face again. So yeah, that's proof that it, that one works. So now let's get to, uh, smudger. So yeah, there's his uh, 
normal face. Here we are. Okay. Here's some other right here. So sad slash worried. Furious, that one I added. And then cross, that's one I added. Surprised, that's another one I added. And eyes closed tight, that's one I added. So yeah. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed, um, and hope you guys, uh, I'm at, this helped, um, and I hope this helped you guys, um, I'll actually show you something, uh, that I got here, you see, this was supposed to be for Trains A New Era, but somehow this actually worked, uh, the Flying Scotsman, um, it's so freaking weird to see on a narrow gauge track, but, uh, yeah, Scotsman, and I also got Jeffrey, and a whole bunch of other trains, so, uh, look forward to episodes about them. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, I'll go ahead and show you them side by side, for seemingly no reason, but, um, yeah, this Phrynaeus is a lot bigger than Smudger, but, uh, yeah. Gosh, this, I do not know how to control the camera, apparently. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a wonderful day. Uh, see you next time. And uh, request what sort of episodes I should do. Uh, I'm planning on doing one about the Minnesota Railway. Like, if you saw the last episode, then uh, you would know that I ended it off with a cliffhanger about Smudger being uh, turned into an engine again. Uh, which is kind of typical, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and do, like, a more original kind of story. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a wonderful day, and see you next time.